Hello guys, um, I just want to make a video about how to create a playlist using your external hard drive. I am making this video because I have seen a lot of people complaining about the problem they encounter trying to use um, external hard drive with DJ Pro. Uh, even in the DJ Pro community, I've seen a lot of people having questions on how to actually use it. Um, especially when, you, when you're when switching from other DJ software like me. I switched from Serato DJ to DJ Pro. And when you're switching, um, it's two versions. When you're switching for Serato DJ Pro, you have two options the first option is to import crates from uh serato dj the crate that you have with serato dj import into dj pro um, i have made a video on how to do that um, you can look up to the video that i did on how to import crate from serato dj the second option is for you to um, have your crate from a hard drive into serato into DJ Pro. I'm sorry, I keep on measuring Serato because I, because I used to use Serato so well. Um, like I said, so this video is about making a playlist from your hard drive. So the major complaint that people were complaining is that um, DJ Pro doesn't have any memory, it's too slow. So the problem that we're countering is like, if you look at what I'm clicking right here, um, here is my collection. This one right here is my collections, which you are supposed to be using with DJ Pro to DJ. The other option is your file. If you click here, this one will take you to your music folder on your laptop like i click here and you can see this is my laptop whatever i have in there and this is my hard drive here this one is my hard drive uh, if you click on on the drop down button of of my uh, hard drive you can see all the different folders that i store all my music on so these are all the what happened? This didn't just quit. I have no idea what happened there. So, like I said, if you click on here, if you click here, you can see all, all the folders that I have all the folder with all my music they are right here so even though you have access to all this folder do not use this to dj because you have access to all the music if i click on um this one right here you can see all the music but the problem is if you scroll down it's very slow you can see this place is blank it will take time for it to load. So the reason is that you are just accessing the file. DJ Pro has no memory to recall, has no memory to recall all this music file that you have on your music folder. It has no memory of it. You clicking here just give you an option to look at your hard drive, the music you store in your computer. But Serato, I mean, DJ Pro does not have any memory of it. That next time when you back out and you come back in again, you try to go there, go to the folder again, it's still gonna be very slow. It's still gonna be very slow. You can use it to DJ, but it will be slow. Like if you go to the other one, see how slow it is? 
it takes time for this for that to load, especially when you have a lot of it. So to me, this should not be open at all. So what I did in mind, I just go to the applications and go to my file and just turn it off. I don't need it. I just turn it off to so my file, access to my um, music folder on my computer is all gone. It's all gone. So the only way you can create a memory you can use a hard drive that when you go back there is quick and easy and you can DJ with it is to use your mind collections. If you click here, this is your collection, right? On your collections go here and click you see the plus sign right here plus sign icon click on the plus sign icon you either create a playlist you can create a playlist you create a smart playlist or you you add a playlist folder, whichever one you want to do. Like this VDG right here, this is my folder that I created with my hard drive. I decided to do it just to just to have it because I already have all this music in my create. You can see my create right here, the one I imported from Serato DJ. If I click on here, all my grade from Serato DJ, they are right here. So I don't actually, um, I don't actually need this, but I just do it just to show people that um, DJ Pro does have, once you, DJ Pro do has, does have a memory in your hard drive once you create uh, a folder from it. So to do this, I just want to create an, uh, another playlist right now under this VDJ. If you click here, VDJ down, you can you can right click. Um, you can right click and create a playlist, whichever one you want to do. And that you do it from, okay, let me just go from here. Since you started from the beginning, just go here, click add a playlist. So you have another playlist coming up right here, right now. And you can name it anything. You can name it, um, let's just name it one, whichever name you want to give it. So you name it one. So this playlist right now is completely empty. There's no music on it. So for you to import your songs, your playlist from your hard drive, go ahead and minimize DJ Pro. Minimize DJ Pro and click on your hard drive. This is my hard drive right here. Click on your hard drive. So go to any playlist that you wish to import into DJ Pro. Um, right here, I can just decide to choose this one. If you double click, you have all the songs in this folder. Um, highlight all the whole songs that you have there. Just highlight all of them. Highlight all of them and drag them here. So if you look at what is going on right now, see what's going on? So DJ Pro imported all those track into this playlist right here. All right. So next time you come in here, this music is here. DJ Pro already built a memory of this folder or this of this playlist in your hard drive anytime you plug in your hard drive the memory is there once you click on it it's quick and fast and you can digit with it
compared to when you were trying to DJ using your file. I'm going back to my file again. I want to reactivate my file. Go back to your file. Just want to compare. If you click on your file right here, this is my file right here. These are my file. This is my hard drive right here. If you go to any of these file right here, so as you can see, it's slow. It's slow. So that's the reason why I'm saying just go ahead, and you can leave it if you don't want. To, if you don't want to use it, you can leave it. It's up to you. You can leave it right here. But for me, I hate too much, too many stuff to, that I have to look into when I'm DJing I just want to go to the specific and I, because I'm not using it I just want to take it out so I just want to streamline what I can use so I don't distract myself when I'm DJing so I just take it out turn it off and it disappear so go to your collections this one is right here please is right here this one is right here whichever one you want to use I hope this video will help whoever on whoever is having problems using the SNR hard drive. Like I said, if you want to check out how to import your crate from Serato DJ Pro into DJ, a logarithm DJ, please just go look at my previous video that, that I made. I hope this video will help you. Peace and subscribe to my channel if you have any problem so you can message me or make a comment and i will reply to your comment if you have any problem thank you and god bless peace